Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Monkey Hero Adventures. Uh, when we last left off, we were right about to finish A Realm Reborn. We were just under leveled for the next story quest. I uh, did a couple side quests. We hit level 50 and now, right before we finish the story, we're going to go ahead and do our level 50. Ah, someone spawned in on us. We're going to do our level 50 ninja quest, as you can see. You got us some sick little threads here, dyed in white. We are the white ninja now here. Um, still rocking the same weapons as before, and I think this will probably be our glamour for quite a while. Um, but all right, let's uh, see what Oboro has. Let's let's get take this ninja quest uh, line to an end before we uh, finish our other main story. A master and student looks like we'll get the. Ninja Chainmail Chest, um, and the item level 90 gear, which uh, is does look pretty cool, um, but again, we're, we're probably going to keep this look, uh, and also it'll be a little less than th this stuff is uh, I-115 that I'm wearing, um, and then uh, we will get the skill Kasatsu. Ah, uh, monkey, your return pleases me. I feared I might miss the chance to bid you a proper farewell. Yes, we will be taking our leave from your realm. My mission is complete, and Tsuvami's wounds have all but healed. Tradition dictates that we should return to our elders to deliver tidings of our success. Redbeak's last words? I will not lie. At first, they weighed heavily on my mind. But in the end, I am a shinobi. I came to this land to perform a role, not out of curiosity or spite. Mayhap Master Gekai lives, mayhap not. It is no longer my concern. Karasu is dead, and with this passing, it is time to close the curtain on this chapter of our lives. Before I leave, I would ask you one favor, of you. There is a place I would visit before we depart your realm. I would go alone to gather my thoughts. Could you pray look after Subame while I am away? Her condition has much improved, but I would not take any chances. Thank you, monkey. What's up, Hottie? Your concern is much touching, but I am quite fine, Monkey. In fact, I would seem that the injuries I suffered were not nearly as grave as they appeared at first glance. It would appear that Kurosu meant more to fan the flames of Ouroboros' ire than to cause true harm. Speaking of Oboro, have you seen him about? It's not like him to disappear in the midst of our pre preparations for departure. Alone with his thoughts, you say? Where do you suppose he might have gone? Um, most likely to the football, Fool Falls. The place where the two of you practiced. Yes, he always has had a fondness for waterfalls. Yes, that is it. It must be. Monkey, Oboro is not himself of late. Perhaps I worry over much, but I can never forgive myself if something were to befall him. You will go look after him for me, will you? I, I seek not to change his heart if his heart is truly made up. I wish only to know his true feelings that I might support him in whatever humble way I can. See, he's fine. He's hanging out with the coral pups.
What are you doing here, monkey? I took you of a man of your word. Subame sent you, did she? It looks like I was a fool for thinking I could fool two of who know me so well. Ever since that day, this is the only place in the world where I can find a moment's respite from the turmoil that rages within me. And yet, the instant the sound of the crashing water fades from earshot, it all comes flooding back. You have proven yourself a true friend to us, and a worthy shinobi in your own right. Answer this for me, monkey. For what, for whom, do you wield your blade? Yes, I knew you a man after my own heart, monkey. Standing here just now, that is the answer I arrived at as well. I speak in earnest to you, monkey. Our battle with Karasu, his dying words, they left me a changed man. I can no longer deny what I have become. For so many years I questioned nothing. Tradition, custom, my mission. I was a shinobi, shinobi a blade, and a blade does not think. I shut off the doubts, the emotions that threatened to rise to the surface, and told myself this was the true presence of mind. I lie to myself no longer. In confronting Karasu, I confronted myself. Looking upon Tsubame laying battered and beaten like my countrymen so many years ago, I felt a single all-consuming desire to visit retribution upon those who wronged us, and to do so by my own hand. I have made my decision. I shall go and face the truth, for it is only in doing so that my heart will ever know true peace. I will go alone, and I will hear no more of it. You and Tsubame have sacrificed and suffered more than enough. The battle that awaits is mine and mine alone. Nah, I'm going. If it is Master Gekai, or Geki, or Gekai, whatever, I find at the end of my journey, so be it. One or both of us will die. It matters not. Either way, my mind will be at rest. You have been a true friend and ally, monkey. Farewell. Oboro? Forgive me, monkey. It was as if my legs moved on their own accord. It's just as I imagined. Oboro means to confront Master Gekai, even if it costs him his life. He has made this decision, and I will not stand in his way. But neither will he stand in the way of mine. Whosoever Orbor fights, I will fight beside him. If it is not too much to ask, pray lend your strength this one final time, monkey. You have proven yourself a true shinobi, and your blade, unfettered by tradition or convention, may be just what the, turns the tide of battle in our favor. Orboro did not say where he was headed, but we already know, don't we? Karusu's last words, Candle Keep Quay. Let us see what the guards there might tell us. Let's go. Uh, I believe that's lower in Lenosha, right? Yep. Oops. Any unusual happenings of late? Not as such, save for some small private vessels scheduled to dock tomorrow at the crack of dawn. Other than that, it's all pretty quiet around these parts, as it want to be. Funny thing though, you're not the first one to ask that question. A milkmaid, fairly comely one at that, came not minutes ago asking the very same question. Is that so? The milkmaid is one of Oboro's favorite costumes. 
as we might suspect, he's one step ahead of us. If we could rendezvous with him somehow, it would give us an advantage in numbers, and yet, the risk of exposing ourselves to our foe is too great. We should observe from the shadows until Master Gekai reveals himself. I will take up position on the western shoreline. You take the high ground, and keep watch from the promontory over there. Between the two of us, that should cover the entire quay. Well, fine then. Ooh, sexy bud. go. Who goes there? Show yourself. I know a rat when I smell one. I trust that I am speaking with the Garlean Emperor's Chief of Espionage and Covert Operations? None other. But you can call me Master if you'd like, young one, for old time's sake. You're full of surprises these days, young one. The Oberu I know would have been on the first ship back to Doma once Coruso caught his last call. You look sturdier than I remember, if a bit gaunt in the cheeks. Are you getting enough rest? You always work just a bit too hard for your own good. All these years it was you. You who taught me the way of the Shinobi. You who I loved as a father. Why, Master, why? Why else? For our village, of course. I simply made the choice that any true shinobi would make. Don't tell me you require a history lesson, young one. Since the time of our ancestors, the shinobi have served many masters. For many years, I served Doma. Then, when the time was right, I chose a more powerful master. Fortunately for me and our village, my services were in high demand. Have you ever wondered why, Obero? Why the Doman Rebellion was crushed by the Empire? Was our village alone spared Garlemald's wrath? It was because of my actions. I protected us when the entire nation of Doma could not. Protected? You betrayed us all. The people of Doma trusted us. Do you know how many Domans died that day? We swore our lives to protect them. You sold us into slaughter. Do you feel nothing? Not even a twinge of remorse at the massacre you brought upon our countrymen? Countrymen? What is Doma to me when weighed against the ancient and glorious history of a, my fellow shinobi? History is littered with the husks of fragile men who gave their worthly, worthless lives to bring glory to their betters. I hoped against hope that Karasu was wrong, that his story was not for twisted lies of a sad fool, but no. 
I was the fool. Master, no. Gekai, for you are no master of mine. In the name of the souls of untold thousands whose blood is on your hands, I declare your life forfeit. <laughs> Revenge, is it? Revenge for foot soldiers and peasants. Is that what this is all about? That's why you linger here like a festering boil after your allotted mission was complete? Forsaking your role for some selfish flight of fancy will not earn you many friends back home, Obero, nor here. The more time I spend in Garlemald, the more I realize that the Empire quite suits me. There is something to be said for a culture that values merciless strength above all. I've won over quite a few loyal subordinates. Poor little one. All your lofty words, and here you stand alone. You are alone because you are weak. He has no subordinates. That is true. This isn't an army, after all. But Obero has something you will never have. Comrades who believe in him and the ideals for which he fights. Tsubame, how, how did you... Not just me, Obero. Monkey, too, has come to fight at your side. Comrades, you would choose the company of a glorified sellsword over that of the master who made you who you are. Oh, how far my pupils have fallen. You are the one who has fallen, Gekai. Monkey fights with a sense of honor and purpose that you have long forgotten. Monkey, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. My friends, my comrades, I am honored to fight at your side. Let us show this false master what true strength is. Technique, it cannot be.
jump. Subame, monkey, thank you. It is through your belief in me that I was finally able to believe in myself. And Karasu, you had a hand in bringing this chapter to a close. You may be gone, but you are not forgotten. Aw, that almost sounds like a eulogy. It almost makes wish I were actually dead. K Karasu, you're still alive? But, but how? Well, when it comes to playing dead, I did learn from one of the best, you know. I, I see, but why vanish only to return? Oh, just an undelivered present. This is the fifth and final piece of Monkey's traditional garb. Let it never be said that I don't complete my missions, even if it's just plain delivery boy. Wait, Karasu! The elders who named you traitor to our village, they were simply blind to the truth, as was I. If I explain, they will surely see reason. Please, let us return home, together. What? What's this now? Now that wasn't in the script. How soon we forget, Obero. I was not THE traitor. No, but I did follow him. That makes me just as much a traitor, at least in their eyes. Perhaps so. At the same time, you risked your life for what you believed in. We are not so different, you and I. The sentiment is most touching, but my answer remains no. The village was always a bit too cramped for me. I prefer to spread my wings on a grander stage. The honorable deeds of my present do not erase the terrible crimes of my past. I was a spy and assassin. Quite a good one, I might add. And for all the blood Gek I had on his hands, mine are nearly as red. In the elders' minds, you had one mission, Obero. Why complicate the matter? Bring this back. Tell the others what they want to hear. The traitor Karasu Redbeak is no more. Slain at your hand. You'll be a welcomed as a hero. Well, my fate will be even grander. I will at long last be free. If that is how you would have it, Karasu, then so it shall be. This I promise you. Slowly but surely, our village will change. I will take what I have learned and build a village that honors all of our fallen. A village you could be proud to call home. Just don't get too cocky. Now, or I'll have to come back and put you and your whole village in its place. I look forward to that day. Let us meet again on the battlefield and pit our ideals against each other as we did that day. I like old Karasu. Alright, let's go back to the storehouse. And put this ninja quest line to rest for now.
It is strange, monkey. All this time, I believed I was instructing you in the way of the shinobi. And yet now that all is done, I feel I should be the one to call you teacher. Thanks to you, I finally achieved true clarity and presence of mind. My blade is stronger for it. And more important still, I now understand what I am truly fighting for. Body or mind, by any measure, you are every bit my equal as the shinobi. Save for one final technique, which I will now impart to you. Kasatsu. Use it to rearrange your energies channeled into your body and at least powerful ninjutsu techniques one after the other. But be warned, in our tongue, it quite literally means life and death. Which one it means for you will depend entirely on your presence of mind. And with this, I believe we have both satisfied the respective sides of our initial agreement. We will return to our village, which means I must bid you farewell. Though perhaps not this day, I would see my home change for the better and introduce new ways of thinking to complement the old. But before I can, there is much I still must learn about this land. And so I will go on ahead. I will report to the elders the success of Arbor's mission and inform them that we will return as soon as he recuperates from the wounds he sustained in battle. With the soul crystal that Karasu gave us, no one will doubt the success of our mission. It's a flawless plan, if I do say so myself. Yes, how fortunate we were that I thought of it. Never change, Obero. Promise me that. And with that, monkey, it seems that it is I who will bid you farewell. You've been a true friend, and my heart awaits the day that we shall meet again. But you will return to give Obero lessons from time to time, yes? I'm not convinced that his bows are as masterful as he seems to think. Alright, this concludes the ninja quest for Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next quest, you must meet the following requirements. Complete the main scenario quest before the dawn. Once you've done so, the next ninja quest will be available from Oboro. There we go. Here's my Kasatsu, which is right where I want it to be, right there. All right. That's going to be it now. We are going to go back to the Waking Sands, and we're going to end this right here. We're going to get ready for Operation Archon and finishing the main story for 2.0, which is the main, uh, main game for Realm Reborn. Of course, there are the post-story raids and then the, point X, the 2.x series, which is 2.1 through 2.55 leading into 3.0, which is Heaven's Word, the first expansion. So we have lots of story, obviously, to go. Um, but yeah, we are about to finish this off. And uh, I'm very excited. I hope you guys are too. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, Monkey and I will see you in the next one.